The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animo God Barbados, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Uh... How do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tavat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados's wish for Mondstadt. Jean, you're such a devotee. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care. Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? <laughs> but we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvalin. 
Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's life? Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Dvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but it should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Dvalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. The Traveler? Correct. But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Dvalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Which means... You tone-deaf bard! Don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Devon is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger! Hey, nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, Honorary Knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the Abyss and a dragon! No pressure or anything! Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour.
I'll keep this close. so dangerous. Leave it to me. Although this wooden liar is all I have, I don't need the liar to break through this kind of storm bait. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Enemy attack! Prepare yourselves! <laughs> <laughs> 